Hi Elena, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? Welcome to our conference, uh, we, are, we are very pleased to have you. Oh, thank you. Uh, so Elena is doing some uh, very exciting work on uh, using graphene in a 3D printing product. Uh, Elena, so what's new? Uh, so as you might know that uh, our company, Graphene Laboratories, uh, and our website, Graphene Supermarket, uh, uh, was making graphene for sale in small quantities for almost six years. And we've been looking for ultimate opportunity to use graphene for commercial applications. And about a year and a half ago, uh, we met uh, with one of the professors in Stony Brook University nearby in New York. And uh, he's an expert in 3D printing, and after we talked to him, he convinced us that uh, graphene might have a lot of applications in 3D printing. And after that, we started working on materials, uh, 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 like materials for FDM uh, 3D printing. So in this case, uh, we start with polymer materials, and we also uh, start with graphene nanopowder, and after that, we use our proprietary technology and uh, mix graphene nanopowder with polymers, and we can uh, make a graphene-infused uh, filaments for 3D printing. And we successfully made uh, first laboratory-scale samples, uh, and very soon we're going to start uh, selling it at commercial level. So what, what, is, what, is the, what is the added value of adding graphene to the polymers? Is it conductivity? Is it mechanical strength? What is it? Yeah, apparently you're absolutely right. First of all, it's conductivity. So without uh, graphene, apparently graphene doesn't... Uh, uh, sorry. Without graphene, uh, polymers uh, do not conduct, and there are a few additives which can be added to polymers, and uh, they can make materials slightly conductive, and by using graphene, we can make it highly conductive. And uh, apparently graphene also improves uh, mechanical properties and also it greatly enhances thermal conductivity, which is also very important for many practical applications. So bringing, bringing conductivity to 3D printing is a, is a challenge. Uh, and uh, you know, what are the other solutions on the market? And how, how do you think graphene is, is better than the other ones? Uh, at least uh, we, we tested uh, several different materials which are available right now. And usually it's carbon-based materials, uh, so it's like carbon black or carbon fibers. And in this case, we can get values by at least uh, two orders of magnitude better if compared to the best products on the market yet. And apparently the long-term uh, goal for this project is uh, to combine graphene and other materials in one print. And if you can combine, can combine many different materials in one print, you can make uh, 3D printable electronics. Excellent. So uh, thank you very much, Elena. And, uh... I hope you enjoy uh, enjoy the IDTK conference. Thank you. Thank nice you. Talking.